how to run a successful wrestling promotion. Come in. Hey boss, I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, we still got one spot on Team SmackDown that we gotta fill. You got any ideas on who you wanna fill that spot with? Oh shit. We haven't filled that yet? No sir, but we're, we're really running out of time here. The, the pay-per-view's tomorrow. Huh. You got any good ideas? Well, actually yes. I actually was thinking about it the other day. How cool would it be if, you know, since it's the 30th anniversary for Undertaker, we could bring him in and fill in that last spot and make it really cool and exciting for the fans. Give it to Otis. I just think we could do really- huh? The last spot on SmackDown? Give it to Otis. But sir, I thought you asked if I had any good ideas. Yeah, no one gives a shit. We're going with Otis. Are you sure? I mean, I think we could really do- You're fired. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have my WWE Survivor Series 2020 full show predictions. So as you guys know, Survivor Series is all about brand supremacy. Raw vs. SmackDown 5v5 Champions vs. Champions. Coming into this show, I'm actually pretty hyped for it. I think the card's absolutely stacked. We even got like a draft battle royal going on that they announced that I'm actually pretty interested in to see what goes down. You know, the winner probably won't get a John Brown thing, and the winner of the 5v5 probably won't get a John Brown thing, but at least the matchup will be fun, hopefully. And you guys remember my fantasy booking video from yesterday? If you guys watched my fantasy booking Survivor Series video? Well, you know how the spot on SmackDown was completely open? And we thought, you know, oh, they're gonna give it to The Undertaker, be this really cool moment for him to retire 30 years later to the exact date. They gave it to Otis. They gave the spot to Otis. Otis, Otis, o Otis is the last guy. So F my fantasy booking. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dive into this card. I'm, again, I'm pretty hyped for it. I think the card's absolutely stacked. But how these videos work is I'm going to run through the whole card, giving you my exact predictions, what I think is going to happen at the show, how I think it's going to play out, where I think we'll go from here, winners, all that ish. I'm going to predict it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, to start things off, I know I didn't change the screen here, but I'm going to start off with the dual battle royal or the dual brand battle royal. I'm guessing they're going to take a bunch of superstars from Raw, a bunch of superstars from SmackDown, put them in the ring, over the top rope, the last one standing in the ring will be declared the winner. Now for this one, um, the only logical explanation that I can really come up with off the top of my head right now is I'm, I'm going to go with Big E. I'm going to go with Big E to win this thing. I really don't know why. It's just what my brain's telling me. It's the way I'm feeling right now. I'm going to go with the Big E to win this dual brand battle royal. Again, it may not happen, and I don't know who's all in this thing. I'm just taking a random shot in the dark, and I'm going to go with Big E. So we'll find out what the hell happens, but there's my dual brand battle royal prediction. So for our first prediction, guys, we do have Sami Zayn going one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley, the U.S. champion versus the Intercontinental champion. And for this one, as much as I would love to see Sami Zayn pick up the victory here, I'm going to personally go with Bobby Lashley. I just think that WWE believes in Bobby Lashley. He's got the Hurt Business. Probably some shenanigans are going to get in involved. This is actually a matchup that I'm actually looking forward to. See how these these styles clash? I want to I wanna say they've wrestled before. Like, for some reason, that's coming into my brain. I'm sure they have at some point. Just not completely standing out in my memory, but a fuzzy memory along the line there kind of kind of recalls them fighting before. I could be wrong, though. But anyways, I'd like to see Sami Zayn pick up the win, but I'm going to go with Bobby Trashley, U.S. Champion, to win this matchup, and that will give us a 1-0 for uh, Raw right there. And I'm guessing they added the dual brand Battle Royal, so that way there's seven you know, so just like the NBA Finals, it'll be a best of seven. See which brand wins the night. I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley to win here to go 1-0 for Raw. Next up, guys, is the tag team match, and a matchup that I'm really, really looking forward to. New Day taking on the Street Profits. Um, I am really looking forward to this one on pay-per-view right here. I think this is going to be a nice one, and I think I'm going to go with the Street Profits to pick up the victory. I, I'm a big fan of the Street Profits. I love New Day, obviously. They're going to be Hall of Famers one day, no doubt about it. Uh, arguably one of the greatest tag teams of all time as far as statistics go and accolades and all of these things. New Day is definitely very special and I think it can do a lot for the Street Profits to pick up the win here and I'm going to predict that they do and uh, this is going to, you know, bring some legitimacy to the Street Profits 
and really get a lot of eyes on them. I know a lot of people know them already, but I think a win over the New Day would really do big things for them. So I'm going to go Street Profits to upset the New Day or upset the New Day here at Survivor Series, tying the series from Raw to SmackDown 1-1. One to -one. Next up, guys, is another matchup that I'm really looking forward to. Asuka taking on Sasha Banks, champion versus champion. Very, very good matchup on paper right here. One that I am absolutely looking forward to. And as much as I want Sasha Banks to pick up the win, I want to, I really feel like Asuka is going to win for some reason. I really don't know why, but I'm going to go with Asuka to win. I'm going Asuka to defeat Sasha Banks. Not really necessarily what I want to happen, but I think it's going to happen. I'm going to predict it to happen. That will make Raw go up 2-1 to one here in the series, and I think that is going to be the, the call right here. As much as it pains me to say, again, I really don't want, I mean, I love Asuka, I love Sasha, but as far as, you know, continuing on some momentum and really giving Sasha a big win, I would love to see Sasha pick up the win, but I'm going to predict that Asuka gets the win, and that's what I'm going with. Another matchup that I think is going to slap titties is Drew McIntyre taking on Roman Reigns champion versus champion, and another one that is going to be a banger, one that I'm looking forward to. You have the Universal Champ, WWE Champion, both big guys going at it, and I just cannot predict Roman Reigns to lose, man. I just It just doesn't sit right in my stomach to see that happen, at least at this juncture. He's the hottest thing in wrestling right now, in my personal opinion, so I really feel like they're going to continue this wave of momentum that Roman Reigns is on. No point in having him lose here to Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre already lost to Orton, then he won the championship back, and it really, I don't think it would make much of a difference for him to lose again here to Roman, since Roman's on big hot fire. Uh, maybe he could have some shenanigans. I'm not sure. We're going to have to see about that, but Roman Reigns will retain, will retain. No shit. Roman Reigns will defeat Drew McIntyre here, and I'm going to go with the win there for him, and that would even up the series 2-2 two to two with uh, Raw and SmackDown. Next up, we have the 5v5 Women's Traditional Survivor Series matchup between Raw and SmackDown, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Raw compared to SmackDown is nowhere near it, Brad. I mean, look at the team of Raw compared to SmackDown. SmackDown's team is absolutely stacked compared to Monday Night Raw, and I have to pick SmackDown to win this matchup. Now, that would ultimately decide the series. That would make the series 4-2 to two because I forgot that I picked Big E to win the Draft Battle Royal. That would mean that SmackDown would have another victory, making it 3-2, and then uh, SmackDown would win here, making it 4-2. But depending on the way you lay out the matches, you could delay that. But I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But just look at the team of Raw. Lana, Lacey Evans, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, and Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce is the only one on that whole team that I even like just a little bit. And then you have Bianca, Bailey, Liv Morgan, Riot, Natalia. All five of these women I enjoy, especially Bailey, Bianca, Liv Morgan. I like Ruby Riot a lot. I like Natalia. I think she's good in the ring. She's just a bit stale. But Jesus, man, this team right here is absolutely stacked. There's no doubt about it that this team should win unless given some crazy shenanigans or some big time interference. SmackDown should absolutely walk away with this one. I think Bianca Belair should be the sole survivor and she should eliminate Nia Jax. She should eliminate Shayna Baszler. She should eliminate, she should probably have three, two or three eliminations for sure. Bianca Belair needs to be a superstar in this thing. She needs to be the sole survivor, and that is exactly how I would book it if I was doing things, but you know what, Brad? I don't make the rules. I just break them. So I would have SmackDown win, absolutely, but I'm going to predict that they win because on paper, there's just no way that Raw gets the win, but knowing Vince McMahon and his crazy ass, they're gonna end up having Raw win this thing, but I am absolutely 100% predicting that SmackDown will get the win, and that's how I feel about it. And last but not least for our main event, guys, we have the Survivor Series traditional 5v5 men's match, Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. You got Sheamus, Braun Strowman, Keith Lee, AJ Styles, and Matt Riddle taking on KO, Seth Rollins, Jey Uso, Trash Corbin, and Otis. Now, while I'm not a big fan of Otis or Trash Corbin, I mean, look at this some bitch. And over here on the other side, I, I mean, the team's decent. I love Keith Lee. I like Matt Riddle a lot. AJ Styles. I like Sheamus a lot. I'm not a big fan of his character, but I love him as a person. And then Braun Strowman, I, 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 if you're a fan of the channel, you know how I feel. But over here, you got my boy KO. You got my boy Rollins. I love Jey Uso, but geez, man. I'm just hoping we get a really good football game. I think you got some really good styles that can intertwine here. One thing I am going to say is I absolutely miss NXT being in this thing. Can you imagine seeing Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns? Can you imagine a full NXT team in this matchup? Can you imagine the NXT women's matchup? North American champion plugged into the Lashley and Sami Zayn match. I mean, dude, God in heaven at the football games we could get. But, you know, it's, I guess that's not what we're getting. And I don't know exactly what they have planned for Undertaker at this show. Maybe Undertaker does show up and helps one of these teams win. I would guess SmackDown, but maybe the Fiend interferes. I don't know. We'll just have to see what goes down with it, but I really want to pick Team SmackDown for some reason. But if we're doing the thing, you guys know that I said that the series would be 4-2 to two if the women's SmackDown team won. Well, if 
the men's team wins right here, that would make it 4-3 if Raw were to win. And you could make it where it's 3-3 going into this main event, and you could have it where Team Raw wins and wins the night 4-3. Or you could flip it. For some reason, I'm feeling like they're going to go into this matchup with it tied 3v3, so it's like a big Game 7 feel, and then one of these teams is going to etch it out. But I really want to say that Team SmackDown wins. I'm going to predict that Team SmackDown wins. It's really difficult, though, because they do have... I mean, I think Raw has overall the bigger star power. However, I really am rooting for Team SmackDown. They got my boy KO over there. They got my boy Seth Rollins over there. I gotta go with Team SmackDown, even though I really do feel like Raw is probably gonna win. I'm gonna predict that SmackDown is gonna win, you know, for the for paper purposes, like putting it in writing, SmackDown's gonna win. But uh, I truly do believe that Raw is probably gonna win. But I hope we get some sick-ass attires. I'll probably make the custom Rollins. If Rollins comes out in some sick-ass gear, I'll probably get started on it immediately. Kevin Owens as well. And we'll definitely get some cool stuff brewing on some different attires and stuff. But I think that pretty much does it for my Survivor Series predictions. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you think. Before we get out of here, guys, I do want to give my random shout-out. If, if you guys did not know, at the end of every video, if you guys leave me a comment and a like, I pick one random commenter and shout them out in my next video. So leave me a comment and a like down below. But this shout-out is going to go to Prius Rahungdali. He says, 2019, hashtag Mike holding hands for Jeff Hardy. 2020, hashtag Mike holding hands for Finn Balor. Life and crying emoji. You are right, bro. You are totally right. They give him the choke slamming hands. We don't need choke slamming hands on our Finn Balor. If you guys missed the Elite 82 Finn Balor review this morning, go watch it. They didn't give him mic holding hands. That's spoiler alert. Spoiler alert there. And Jeff Hardy never gets mic holding hands unless they use the ringside exclusive two-pack body, which we got with the Brood two-pack. They did give him mic holding hands and the upcoming two-pack with Triple H has mic holding hands, but for our regular signature hand Jeff Hardys that come with fists, we need mic holding hands. But shout out to Prize for that. Thank you so much, bro. I never miss your comments. I do see them. But thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for my Survivor Series predictions. I just hope the show's good. Just give me a damn good show, please, Jesus. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.